Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Snicker. I am going to show you today how you can use Sketchy School in a very um, similar way that we did our Henri Matisse inspired cutouts. So I'm going to open up Sketchy School and pick um, a new blank canvas to work with. So I'm just going to open up my sketchbook and you'll see I've already done a few and I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm clicking on the blank canvas here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my color first that I want to work with. You can use any colors you want. So pick the color. And then I'm going to use the tool that looks like a paint roller. It's the one that's right below the ABC. So click your paint roller. And then you're going to see five different values of your color. So if you were to change your color, it would do that every time. So you're going to pick a color to work with. I'm going to swipe over the tools to the left. To get rid of them so it's just a little bit easier for me to work with. I am using my stylus to draw just like I would with a pencil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those kind of same ideas that we've talked about the other day those organic freeform shapes that don't look like geometric shapes so I'm just going to kind of draw a shape and you'll see that once I close it up it automatically fills it for me so it's like having this perfectly painted shape that so you guys can kind of do this in the same way that we did um, the other ones. There's just going to probably be less rearranging. Now you can move things. I can show you that. So let's do a smaller one over here. Okay, here's my shape. If I pull my tools back over, I'm going to go to the one that's second to the bottom. It looks like an exacto knife. So if I click on that, and I'm going to swipe that off to the left again. I can grab my shape there, and now I can drag it around and I can even spin it and rotate it and resize it. So you can do this, but if you have um, other shapes that are close to it, like let's put this up here where I'm hitting the knife. And if I do that again, if I try to grab it, but now it's this close, it's going to take that with it too. So you can move things around. You just have to um, be careful what you grab when you are dragging it. And, um, but it's, it's something that would still work. So I would encourage you to use different colors and when you um, you overlap any of your shapes, you'll notice that uh, they make new colors. So that kind of gives it a fun element too. So you guys kind of fill up your canvas here with um, some of your organic and freeform shapes and um, then you can save them and send them to me as well. So I'm going to take two fingers and pinch together so I can see all my other drawings. So you guys can see I've done this a few times. So if I want to um, send this <coughs> to me, if you want to send this to me through um, Artsonia or Seesaw, here's how you can do it. You can click the um, square at the bottom with the arrow pointing up. We're going to, it says tap, it says share, tap to select. So I selected one with my check mark. Let me make and select two. I'm going to hit share. And you can see I can, you, there's Seesaw right there. So I could do that through Seesaw. Um, but I'm going to just hit save two images because that puts them in my library. And then I can open up Artsonia. And when I go to upload it, I can hit um, import from library instead of taking a photo. So that would be a way that you could share this with me. I hope you have fun with this and experiment and play around and um, can't wait to see what you guys do.